Well, figured that was gonna happen, so. So basically what we're gonna be doing is trying to drill around this. We've got the extractor broken off in here and you can't really drill through that extractor. It's just too hard. So what we need to do is try and drill around it to get the just the tip of it out of there and then we will drill this bigger and then tap it so we can put a bolt in there. Well, this is just a complete disaster. Still trying to get around there. I'm just burning through. Problem is that you just burn through bits because as soon as the bit starts to get onto that extractor, it just destroys the bit. So I'm gonna go through quite a bit of bits. I went ahead and just put a hole in the middle of this bolt just so that way I could feel a little bit of success. Starting to really eat into and mess up the surface and I cannot mess up that surface. That's a mating surface there. And, needs to uh needs to be able to seal I, I mean ultimately i'll be able to just cover it with rtv so i mean i will be able to seal it and this is just a water jacket so as long as i don't mess up here you just can't get any water into this side right here Okay, well, here we go. We got um, about $50 worth of drill bits. So we're going to just slowly but surely wear each one of these out and try and get that um, extractor out of that bottom hole. And this is where we are at. So this is absolutely catastrophic. Definitely gonna be a job for some JB Weld. I can see right here, there's a little crack. So it's starting to separate right here. I'm getting it to move over. So I'm almost to where I can get this right here to pop it over into this gap and be able to pull it out. So we're gonna be able to get this thing out of here, but we're gonna have to smooth all this down, fill this with JB Weld, and then re-drill it and put an insert in here. Or hopefully I got enough in the back to where I can drill and get a bolt to stick, but we'll see what it looks like once we get this piece out. There we are. There is it, and that's the damage. So, I mean, there's actually quite a bit left on there. I'm gonna just go ahead and drill that, and I should be able to get a good tap in there to be able to put a bolt in there. We're not going to extract anything. I need to smooth that off, fill it with some JB Weld. I'll probably even fill this little cavity right here with JB Weld and then smooth that off so that way um, there won't be any water because really I mean I protected most of the good spot and if I fill that right there there's a lot of mating surface there where water is going to be in this outlet so like this channel here has water in it and all I got to do is fill that little area with JB Weld so no water can get over to the bolt and I just need to drill that out a little bit bigger run a tap in there and this one will be good to go. There's all the old drill bits. Something I want everybody to notice is that if you look in here we can't start drilling or tapping because of this right here. Oh, uh, it actually, this came out really easily, but that is the tip of a drill bit.
<laughs> so if you were to put a tap in there with this drill bit tip that would have been catastrophic it would have locked up the tap and snapped it so um, good thing that we caught that that's why you always want to be uh, investigating and looking at whatever you got going on okay we are officially down to the last task we need to tap this and one problem that I'm gonna have here is that you see how this top portion is like down and there's so much drilled away right here when we go to tap this the problem is going to be when we take the tap and try and send it in there it's going to want to angle it down like this because there's a wall up here and when we cut into it it's going to not want to cut into this because there's nothing over here so it's going to want to push the tap like this which will angle it and when that angles it that's going to be a problem for us to get this tap to go and get started in like to go in straight so that is one thing that I have to try and get figured out is getting this to start tapping but keeping it pressure right here without snapping our tap and then once we do that I'm gonna grind this down right here we want to knock that edge off of there as well as clean all this off and scrape it that way we can actually um, I want to th I think what I'm gonna do is stick a bolt in here and then we will go ahead and use some JB weld in order for us to be able to fill this surrounding area right here with JB weld I had thought about putting a rod in here first and then going ahead and filling this with JB weld before we um, tap it but I think I'm gonna go ahead and tap it and then I'm going to take a bolt and stick a bolt in there and then with the bolt in there I'll fill this up with the JB weld around the bolt pull the bolt out and then that way there'll be threads in the JB weld and we could probably even stick some more JB weld in there as well run the bolt in and out a couple times to fill in any kind of holes that are there to give it some more strength so first thing I'm gonna do is try and get this tapped I've been having trouble getting this thing to start it is like I said that being crooked like that just not wanting to I've got some threads of the old bolt to pop off of there but it's still the tap is not trying to it's not wanting to start so I went ahead and I took another drill bit and kind of wobble it out I'm trying to kind of wobble it out so that way it'll kind of center down into one position and hopefully that'll be enough to let me get the tap to start I might even be able to get some of those threads of the bolt to pull off kind of hard to see that but that's what I'm going to try and do just trying to get this tap to start well we are not having any luck here so I'm going to try and hopefully get this thing to get us to catch um, I should be able to get this in there to get it started but I don't know the depth and if I've got enough um, depth on this thing to be able to get back and actually give me something that I can start to get my tap to start. So let me try this and see how this works. All right, so we got it finally. We got it pretty much even. I mean, that thing is deep down in there, and this is going to work. We have we got very lucky here using this and then tapping it, getting all the thread chunks out there. Here's basically the end of the bolt that I was able to actually pull out of there. So now what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to take this bolt out. I want to clean all this stuff up, prep it, and then we're going to go ahead and just load this thing up with JB weld send it in there and then pack all that up with JB weld pull our you know let it sit for a little bit and then take our bolt out of there and then once we get our bolt out of there then we'll let that harden and dry we'll clean it out again and then probably do the same thing do it one more time with the JB weld to kind of fill this in and get this you know all filled in here we don't want this to have all that space there and we need to get that leveled off 
uh, especially down here on the bottom where the gasket goes. I mean, we didn't really score too much of the surface area, so we're going to be all right. That's the only thing that's going to need to be filled with the JB Weld because we you just can't have any connections there. All right, we are looking really, really good. I mean, that thing looks, it's hard to see, but it does look actually phenomenal for what it is. I just use kind of, you know, little 120 sanding pad with, as well as a Rolock, 3M Rolock bristle tip to kind of polish this up. I got that cleaned off and ran down contact cleaner to clean everything up. I got that all scratched up and then now I am ready to go ahead and use the trusty old popsicle sticks from JB Weld, mix it up and then we will, basically I'm gonna coat the bolt. This is a brand new bolt. I'm actually, I might even get a new bolt that does not have anything on it. I'm gonna coat it in the JB Weld and then we will um, run it through there and let that JB Weld pack all around the inside of there where all the threads are i'm not going to put any on the end of this of the bolt i'm just going to put it all along the side of it so let me show you what i'm doing there and we will go ahead and get the jb weld on here to let that set overnight Okay, there we go we've got that all filled in looking pretty good I got everything cleaned off of the surface obviously there's a little bit of a gap there on this side over here and then also a little bit of a gap over here but that is fine that's not what we're concerned about we can level that off after the fact as of right now all we want to do is get the bulk of it filled in and then let this kind of set up okay this is 24 hours on the next day so let's break this thing free definitely stuck in there and it is pulling some of the jb weld out but it should be good enough to run a tap in there and be able to have this thing be good to go probably just going to pull out the little bit that's here Let's see how this goes definitely threads all the way in there Okay. Hmm. Didn't really hold up too much, so I don't know how good that did. Good enough for now, so I'm gonna go ahead and send the tap in there to clean it out one more time, and then we will be able to clean all this gasket up and go ahead and put our cover plate back on there. And I'm gonna use the new gasket for this one because this one's got a cut in it otherwise i would just use this but i'm going to put go ahead and put the new one on there and this one i'll be able to not use the new one yet so i'll need to clean this up a little bit just to make sure that it seals properly but we'll be able to put it back on there and then go ahead and try out our ridline. 